while the minibus taxi industry is the most critical pillar of our public transport sector. Not only is it the most available mode of transport, it's also the most affordable to the South African public. Joining us now to discuss this, Nkululeko Butelezi, CEO of Santaco. Thanks for joining us, Nkululeko. Thank you, thank you, sir. So we're talking off air, and you're talking about the fact you've got 100,000 members and you're currently on a recruitment drive. Um, I mean, how many more members can you get? How, how many more members out of the whole pool um, are there to add to your, to your pool of members? As I think the, as far as the tax industry is concerned, we're looking at about 150,000 members roughly. And I think we're just over, over 100,000 members that we believe we actually belong to Santaco. There are other bodies, of course, that actually members belong to, but generally we hope that we can actually increase that number, but uh, we, we, we are welcome, we're actually happy with, with, with the number that we have currently. We're talking about, um, you know, taxi charges um, in light of, of petrol costs going up and everything. Mm. What, what, how do you balance this? Because we're talking about, it, you know, you're serving a huge population in South Africa. Many people rely on this to get to work. Um, a large portion of their money goes into transport every month. How do you balance not charging too much, basically, for taxi fares? I think if you look at the history of the tax industry, it was started as, as a social pr program where a person will take people around his neighborhood and actually ferry them to work after the, the apartheid laws to move people away from their, from their areas of work. So certainly our pricing has never been correct or in terms of market value. What we are working on currently is, is to develop a taxi fare index which will be launching in the next uh, year. Uh, but that will start measuring exactly where do we stand as far as the economic factors are concerned, including prices of vehicles, the, 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 the spare parts, the, the fuel, etc. But I think we're actually mindful that most of our users are people that are coming from poor backgrounds. And therefore, we've kept our pricing within that particular range. So given this taxi fare index, um, and you, as you say, you want to more closely match with the real cost um, of transport and the fact that transport has gone up, is that an indication of the fact that you know, taxi drivers are under pressure right now and they aren't being able to recoup those costs? Actually, that's why you see the, the taxi service is actually seen as, as very poor service, and I think it's precisely because of that. First, the taxi industry is not uh, subsidized uh, compared to other modes of transport, and I think it's, it's a battle that will be taken very seriously with government. And certainly, I think within the next financial year, we want to see the tax industry being subsidized. But remember, the subsidy does not come to us as, as a tax industry, but it's for the p passengers who's actually using taxis. And like you said correctly, most of them use about 40 or 50 percent of their monthly income uh, uh, into transport. So we hope that if government can actually come on board and actually subsidize passengers using taxis, and by the way, that is about 15 million passengers that we transport every day. And if those passengers can be subsidized uh, uh, to a certain extent, it can help us to increase our level of service. It can help us to have more safer vehicles, etc. So, so definitely, I think we're looking at a combination of introducing this index that will start defining exactly what, what are the costs associated yep. with running our service. Uh, that being said, when we talk about more local issues, you have indicated that uh, the busted, rapid bus transit system here in, in Johannesburg yes. region is one that you don't support. Have you changed your position at all on that? No, no, no. I don't think we said we do not support it. Uh, actually, our members are actually uh, shareholders into that part particular part. So that, that, of course, has changed Yeah, uh, it has, it has, absolutely. So we, so we, we support any, any, any move by government aimed at uh, ensuring that ma mass movement is actually done properly. But again, we are saying that must not be done to the detriment of the taxi operators. In, in example, we don't want to bring in a bus where a taxi operator has been working. Instead, if you bring in a bus, you must make sure that it becomes a shareholder in that particular bus business. So certainly, we're not, we're not opposed to any developments. But we're saying they must not happen to the uh, this uh, 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 in franchise of the taxi yeah. operators.